guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a mukbang. Excited. So excited. We're going to be eating tacos de birria with a little bit of frijolitos and arroz. Um, mushki. Our dog is going so crazy. So we have uh, birria here, which is birria San Marcos. It's here in the valley. It is so delicious. This is what it looks like. Let me see if I can. Mm, stupid camera won't focus. But anyway, that's the birria. We have rice and beans. Different salsa, limon, tortillas, mm. and the tortillas like dipped in like some kind of oil or something, which <laughs> makes it even more delicious, but we'll put these on the side. And then for me, I have my little pickled radish. This is Korean pickled radish. I just, I don't know, I figured I'd eat it because I bought it a couple days ago and I want to finish it. It's so good. And it's not... Do you like the combination of... Yeah, I want it? something crunchy, you know, mm. the crunchy element. Babe, you need a plate. Oh. Um, so I'm going to start off, but I'm actually going to start off with a pepinito. You need a plate? Mm, 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 mm. They're so good. I got them at, at um, uh, uh, Asian market. That's where you can find them. I know. So good. They like doubled them up though. So today, teníamos antojo de birria. Actually, yo no tenía antojo, but... And when one was like, I'm going to go get birria, and I was like, uh, please do. Yeah. So I was supposed to film a video today. Actually, I am going to film a video for my Spanish channel, but I was so hungry. I'm like, I can't. So I'm going to put a little bit of arroz and then a little bit of birria. Are you going to put rice? Um, not rice. What salsa is better, the red or the green? I haven't tried them yet. Oh. I think the last time we had them, they were so good that I'll just put green. I didn't even try the salsa. I am sorry in advance because I know you guys are going to be craving this. But if you guys are in the valley, go to Birreria San Marcos. They're right on Parthenia and Woodley. But they have a lot of locations, right? Okay, first Can bite. I have another one? Oh, hold on. What'd you put? Mm. Wow, look, at, did, did you guys mm. hear that? Oh my God. Fuck, we don't have napkins. I do. I, right here. Oh. Got you. Mm. Can, oh, can you open the cilantro when you get a chance for me? Or hand it to me, I'll, I'll take care of it. Okay, so. Something about me that you guys may or may not know. If you've been following me a while on my Spanish channel, then you guys know this. But if you haven't, is I love to eat. I think food is one of my biggest passions. <laughs> like, I love trying food. I love food from all kinds of cultures. I used to say Japanese food was my favorite, but I'm starting to believe Korean is. Because I feel like, sorry babe, this thing is like... No, I was going to say, like, for some reason you've been eating... We've been together for a long time, and then all the years, the Korean side came out. This year. This year. But you know why? Because of mukbangs. I and need like a platito because, whatever. I love cilantro. Cilantro is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I still haven't had my first bite. Sorry, I have to no, go no, in. Go, go in. Another thing is we have to figure out our whole setup. Mm. It's so fucking good. Wow. Our whole setup with the mukbangs because obviously I'm not like a professional mukbanger. I, I'm a professional mukbang watcher. I haven't figured out the setup. I think we're using a different I lens. I think, yeah. I think we're using the wrong lens. Mm -hmm. mm. Gotta figure that out. Still missing. What is this? Well, one request that I would have and I would switch up mm -hmm. is I don't like double tortilla. Who doesn't like double tortilla? I think you're the only person, babe. No, I'm pretty sure. Because, see, I, I, would, I would prefer having a handmade tortilla. Oh, 1,000%. I'm going to show you guys my pepinito. That crunch. Listen. You got to respect the crunch. Good crunch. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, mm. All right, I'm gonna make another one. Mm. So this is birria de res, right? Mm -hmm. There's birria de chivo. I don't fuck with that. I don't know why. I don't like the smell. I don't like, right? That's what we, we went once to Plaza Mexico, right? Yeah. And there was this birria. Is it just like this taste? It's aftertaste? the smell. I just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a little bit of beans. A little bit of salt. You have to try this on some. Good. Oh my goodness. Just pour it on there. Is it spicy? Mm. We're like, the food isn't focused. Sorry. I'm focused on the food right now. Yeah, but mm. let me bring out my plate. 
So we went to that birreria in Plaza Mexico. This was years ago. Like this was like years. like ten years ago. Yeah, years ago. And it was <clears throat> birria de chivo. Just so you could see how long it's taken and things still affect you. The smell. The smell was so strong and not cute. I don't think, did you eat it? I, I, I don't think know. that once we got into the restaurant and we opened the door, and I think she, she smelled it, it was already kind of like, nah, I don't know if I want this. Yeah, so I prefer uh, birria de res. Is there a birria de pollo? What is birria? Because there's birria, birria de res, birria de chivo. So is the birria a sauce? Oh, maybe. The, the way you make it? You know what I'm saying? Like that's called birria? Maybe. Like el, al pastor, hay para el pastor de pollo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, wrong cup. Mm -hmm. Sorry. By the way, excuse my appearance. I was getting, like I said, I was getting ready to film my Spanish video, but. Yeah, when I came back in, I was like, I could. I guess what? we're doing. When I came back from picking up the food, I thought we were going to eat and go to, and film. Oh yeah, but I figured I might as well film a mukbang. Yeah, so when I started that mood, I was like, okay. These are my favorite chopsticks. I got them at a Tatcha event. And I like them because they're super pointy. You guys see that? I have to go get a refill of this because yes, I'm going to come out. I actually finished this. Really? Oh, yeah. Mmm. I don't think she was. I brought um, pickled radish. Mm hmm That is a straight bulky pedo. Like, you know rabanos? When you eat rabanos and you burp, it smells mm -hmm. like pedo. I always apologize to her, like, right away because I like rabanos. And I'll eat, like... I like rabanos too, but some, sometimes they're spicy. Yeah. Mmm. I don't know if you guys hear mushka, but that's... Yeah, it's mushkini, baby. over here. Benji's like, man, I'm not gonna try. Benji's over there laid out. The thing is that Benji hasn't tasted this. Mushka has tasted this before. Yeah, and he's like... And I think throughout... I'm like, straight the times eating frijoles with chopsticks. <laughs> so I, I want to teach... Sorry. I want to teach our babies... At a very like young age, how to use chopsticks. Yeah. Okay. I'm down. Another one? I learned. I actually, I'm going to switch my tortilla. I, don't, I wasn't crazy about that. I'm going to go back to the comal, turn it on, what? let it warm up, and get Mas me a real warm tortilla. These are warm. I, this, that's not warm. They're warm to me. Warm is like I'm when, starving, I, when we first so. brought them. I know, that's the only thing about doing these videos is that the setup takes so long that by the time you eat, your comida is cold. Shit, I'm making a mess. Anyway, I was saying, oh my god, I can't finish my sentence. Excuse my appearance. So because I was going to start filming, this is what I look like. But then I figured, I'm gonna film for you guys too. My next mukbang is definitely going to be noodles. I'm just trying to perfect my noodles because it's not going to be like... Well, it's gonna be like Korean noodles, but I try to make it a little bit healthier. Who else shares cups with their boyfriend or significant other? Ever since I was little, well, before my parents got divorced, when we would have dinner, they would share a cup. And me growing up seeing that, I just automatically did it with him. Mm -hmm. And it helps me. It helps me a lot, so I don't drink as much soda whenever we do drink soda. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see how smoky this one's coming out. Fire. Did your mouth just water? Mm-hmm. You heard it? Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Friday is Jingle Ball. <laughs> I think it runs September. No. September, October, they went on pre-sale. And they were on pre-sale for, here, I'll grab them. No, don't, don't get burnt. Babe, I have long nails. Mm. Anyway, the tickets went on pre-sale. And Denise, if you guys don't know, Denise is my, uh, Dennis's daughter, my stepdaughter. <clears throat> Denise called Dennis and was like, Daddy, I wanna get tickets for Jingle Ball. They're going on pre-sale um, for Isabella and I because BTS is gonna be performing. A little backstory. Isabella is my niece. She's my 14 year old niece who's turning 15 in January. Sorry. And Denise is, um, like I said, Dennis's daughter, my stepdaughter. And they are obsessed. 
Okay, obsessed with BTS. Crazy. Mm-hmm. All they do is talk about BTS. Mm-hmm. Mm. All Isabella about? ever watches is BTS. Like, she must eat, sleep, breathe BTS. Anyway, they tried getting the tickets. They weren't able to. They sold out really, really fast. Mm-hmm. They even opened up to us for... Pre-sale. Because we have Capital One. Capital One. Part, uh, so, so they um, they were uh, trying to get them for pre-sale, but they literally sold out so fast. And the reason why this Jingle Ball is selling out so fast is because of BTS. Mm, I'm assuming. So they were so bummed out. Like I don't, I don't know if Denise cried, but I think she was crying, no? Mm -hmm. She's I so think she, she was so upset that she couldn't get tickets that she started crying. So I called my manager and I asked my manager, I said, I don't know if there's any way that you can help me get these tickets, but if you can, I will love you forever. So, <laughs> manager texted me and said, they're super, super hard to get. I've been trying, I've been calling all my contacts. I said, just do whatever you can if you can even do anything. So then she calls me today and she says she was able to find me four tickets at face value which means i was able to get tickets that i can buy at cost versus getting tickets that people bought at cost and now are reselling them for a thousand dollars just to let you know the tickets that i was able to get we We're bought the them business. we bought them and mm -hmm. right now they're reselling for a thousand dollars those tickets i knew that this would mean a lot to my niece and to denise so that's why i kept telling uh kim I'm like please if you can help me get these tickets because it's bts like they just were on tour and they sold out. Genius, I'm not like, I don't know They sold out two Rose Bowls. Crazy. Crazy. And I still don't even know what they're saying. El mariachi. That's all I know. El mariachi. And so when she called me and said I was able to get tickets, I was so, so excited. But then Denise works. So I was like, fuck, how am I going to get her to miss work or call out or switch her shift or get the day off? So she likes Lady Gaga a lot. So I told her that I was, I called her and I told her that I was invited to a House of Labs event and that Lady Gaga would probably be, be performing if she can come with me as my plus one. And luckily it's her day off. So she said, yeah, but little do they know they're going to be going to Jingle Ball to see BTS. Is that how you were about? And did you guys, yes. Mm. Can I drink? Mm -hmm. la tortilla. So anyway, that's the surprise. What we can't figure out is how we're gonna tell them. And film it. And we go surprise them. I know, I'm gonna film it because I want you guys to see their reaction because... Yeah, so let's do this whole I thing. better get some tears, okay? I better get some tears. If I don't get tears... Then you turn it around and say it's a prank. I'm mean, just kidding. <laughs> you guys ain't going nowhere. And then we return the tickets. No, I just, I, I would like to see some tears. No, I don't think they're gonna cry. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get super quiet and like not yeah know they're what to not say. they're not even gonna, they're just gonna be like really and then that's all I'm gonna get fine it's okay because I know <laughs> deep down inside they're freaking out yeah because you know that when they're there they're gonna be going crazy they're gonna cry once they're there I think yeah but they're not gonna cry for my surprise they're just gonna cry because yeah they have them back they're in the same room with them Isabella just told my sister today she said um, mommy I'm gonna cry on Friday to know that they're so close to me. Little does she know that she's going to be there. Mm -hmm. I've never been into anybody that I've been crazy over when it comes to like music or acting or... You had a, you had a, a moment when you met Dr. Dre. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> True. Dr. Dre's True. probably the only one. Yeah, but I won't go to see his concerts. I won't go and stand in line to like get a book signing. I'm, I won't. No? It's so weird. I'm not like that. This was good. I'm still working on the last bites. Here, ya no puedo. Ya no puedo más. Ya no puedo más. Okay, we should ask. This is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, birria mukbang. Let me know in the comments down below if one, if you guys have tried birria, and two, if you guys like birria de res or birria de um, chivo. chivo. Um, yeah, so I will keep you guys posted on our little surprise. All right, thank you guys so much. I love you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Also, let me know if you guys want to keep seeing more mukbangs. Okay, bye.